Hey YouTube, it's Sean, Griffin RC Planes. I'm losing my voice, I'm getting a little sick I think. So if you guys don't uh, see me in the next day or two, that's why I couldn't talk. Hey, we left off where I was repairing my friend's uh, Hobby Zone carbon cub. He had a little accident and the tail was weak. Right in this bottom area, it was kind of doing a little, a little flex, right? So I just came up with a real thin piece of plastic and I glued it straddling the hard plastic area to the thicker part of EPL foam. Right here and forward there's really no mass to glue to but in this area there is. And that worked out good. Well I was going to assemble the plane and, and do a video of uh, checking all the control surfaces out and stuff and the rudder nearly fell off in my hand. They call this a pinched hinge and it's basically just a decal that goes on one side and on the other and then it pinches in the middle and then the decal connects the rudder. I'll show you a close up here. It just it just came untaped. You know the the stickiness of the decal whatever just came loose. So I'm going to put a couple of pinned hinges in it and I'll show you guys how I do that. Then the next video will be assembling it and uh, powering it up and making sure it's good to go for when I give it back to them. I've already loaded the uh, Carbon Cub uh, preset model files into my DXC transmitter. So therefore I have the same transmitter he's using. And we'll just go through it together to make sure it's good to go and we can hand it back to him and, and he can continue on flying. So let me show you this guy's, or this hinge, how it uh, basically just fell apart in my hand and let me show you what we're going to do about it all right so here's his rudder can you see the the flap right here the the little thin edge sticking out that was two pieces of tape you know picture it like that that, that are now touching themselves okay it, it did touch itself in the center and then it spread it back open a little bit and was taped you know two times on the actual part of the rudder that turns this is making any sense kind of like that but in the center and i just grabbed it in the wrong way and and the bottom started to come apart like that and it didn't take hardly any effort at all and it just came undone so let's put a couple hinges in it so this never happens again okay so the hinges i'm going to use are these here in the left these are pinned hinges. Various people make them. It's actually got a little metal pin in it. I thought about these hinges, and I don't know the name of these. I'm sure some of the uh, subscribers know. And I have a bunch of these, but I think this is, these are going to be too strong for the servos that we're using. There's a whole lot more effort flexing this back and forth than this one so what i've done is just eyeballed center and i took an exacto knife and i just kind of carved out a pocket and i've made the pocket bigger than what i need so that we can drip some two-part epoxy in there and then put the hinge in the slot that we that we uh, carved out and we'll do one at a time here. And then once we get the glue in there, then we can kind of straighten it up and get it straight. Okay, you don't want it, you don't want it to dry on an angle because then then it won't hinge right. So make the hole a little bit bigger than you need. Drip some uh, epoxy or glue, whatever you're using that is safe for the material you have. And then I'll I'll fold it and then we'll get it centered. And then once we get it centered. Then we'll get it on here. Maybe we'll use a pencil or something to mark where we need to be. And we'll do the same for this side. Let's uh, mix up some two-part epoxy. All right, we're ready to glue in a hinge. There's my uh, baby bottle warmer that I used to warm up the two-part epoxy. It makes it flow a whole lot easier. All right, so we got our rudder piece that we're gonna glue two hinges into. Got an X-Acto knife. Got something to mix the um, epoxy on. Got a stir stick. Got rubbing alcohol. 
Got a little tiny brush to help brush in the epoxy. Got some paper towels. So I'm going to make sure my cavity is good. Just like so. Might open it up just a little bit wider. That way we can drip a bunch of uh, epoxy into it. And I almost forgot the secret ingre ingredient, chapstick. No, nope, my voice is hoarse, but my lips are not chapped. On this hinge right here, put some chapstick so the glue doesn't get on the hinge. Because if you if you get sloppy with it and the uh, you know the glue comes or the epoxy starts oozing out, it could glue your hinge where it won't hinge back and forth. It'll be it'll, it'll be glued permanently in whatever direction you leave it in. So try to get it all over the you know the the slots that are making the hinge. You know, you know the hinge is kind of like this with a pin going through it. So try to get the Try to get the epoxy, or not epoxy, the chapstick, you know, down those grooves. All right, so now we'll dry fit it again. Make sure it's deep enough. Yep, good. And good. So now we'll pull the epoxy out of the, out of the warmer there. Dry it off so we don't get any water in the, in the glue. This is the resin part. We don't need a whole lot. See, it's just basically falling out of there. It's just running out on its own. No need to squeeze it. So now it'll flow down those in the little cavity we made a little easier. Yeah, I'm squeezing just a little bit right here. Makes it 50-50. Use your eyeballs. Um, you know, if you're 60, 40 or something like that, it's still going to work. But do your best to get as close as you can to 50, 50. All right. This is six minute epoxy, so no time to waste here. Start mixing it up. When it starts to turn a little cloudy color, you've got it mixed. You kind of. Do whatever you need to do to get it mixed up pretty good. I'll take that and that. And then let's try to get it. Let's see if we can let, let it kind of run in there. Oh, yeah. Well, it's Friday evening here, and it's um, it's raining, and, and I just heard a bunch of thunder. We had a heck of a storm mm, two days ago, I guess it was. I thought the storms were gone. I was looking forward to going flying tomorrow. I'm, I hope it's not, uh, not storming again tomorrow. All right, so I think I got our cavities filled up here. We'll try it. We'll push the hinge in and pull it out, and we'll see what it looks like. Now it kind of drank up a little bit more there. Probably getting close to running out of time. I'll take that one like that. I'll check this hole here. This one can use a little bit more. what that looks like a little bit more there may have been a little bit too much more all right okay so now you know six minute epoxy it doesn't take long so I'm trying to straighten them up this this one up top looks pretty, pretty.
pretty straight to me. The one on the bottom is kind of kind of cock out a little bit. All right, so now that I get it straight, now you want to make sure you get it in as deep as it should go. And you need to go just the, just the beginning of the, um, of the hinge part right there. See it? I got epoxy all over the place on that hinge. However, the chapstick is going to save our day. All right, we're going to let that dry. Okay, so the epoxy is dried, hardened in this half. And then I just stuck them together here. And, and I can see exactly where it was by looking at the oh, this part of what they call the hinge. And then this little piece down here kind of went right there. And I laid them together. And I took a pencil and I just marked where the slots need to be between here and here and between here and here. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut that part off. Just cut it all off here. I need to get a sharper blade. And I just noticed that there's no tail wheel. So he didn't give me that part. And I'm putting this together and It'd be cool to assemble the, the uh, you know, the whole thing with, with the wheel on, but he can do that, I guess. He said we're going to meet tomorrow at the park around four or so, so that'll be good to see it fly. Okay, so between here and here, I'm going to try to get it as centered as possible. like so make the hole a little bit bigger up and down that way you got wiggle room to adjust it all and then right here I'm using my finger as like a guide to know how far I you know to stick it in and then it's kind of rocking it back and forth a little bit to just to widen it up a little bit. Then we'll dry fit it real quick. Just like so. Need to get it as close as we can. I'll have to help him adjust his linkage and all that stuff. Just like that. All right, so let's make sure our cavities are opened up here. Use the round side of this little stir stick to kind of open it up a little bit. All right, I'm going to mix some epoxy up. Epoxy is mixed up. I'll try to drip it into our little cavities here. Having it warm like that really helps this situation right here where we're wanting it to run down in there. So run your epoxy under some hot water or something before before you use it. And you know, and, and run it under there for a while. Make make sure it gets good and warm. You know, the outside of the bottle might feel hot and the epoxy itself might be cool on the inside, especially if it's a full bottle or something, you know. I've done it before where I've 
put this in a uh, in a syringe like my pharmacy will, will give me some you know no needle but just a syringe six minute epoxy is not it wouldn't work but you get like some 30 minute or one hour and uh, mix it up on a piece of paper then you know fold it like a basically like a funnel and let it run into a uh, a syringe then you can really then you can really you know guide it into where you need to go I'm gonna, I just wiped some off but I, I want some more in there I, I watched it kind of I guess seep down in its hole there you know the width of the of the hinge is gonna do some for sure but all right now we gotta be quick kind of back and forth a couple times but make sure we get it on there now I can see it Used it out, I guess. And the epoxy's getting all over that hinge. Good thing we got the chapstick on there. So, get it centered up, you know, kind of eyeball it and make sure it's, uh, you know, the same. As far as as straight and as even as you can get it. Sweet. Let's let it uh, dry. Okay. Well, I've bound it up already. I don't have the tail wheel, but I got it assembled. And let's see what the uh, what the settings look like here. I think we got to let it sit for a minute and do its. Uh, do this calibration of stuff. The green light means uh, I don't know. And then blue and red. So we got all three modes. Let me spin it around so you guys can see it here. I should have done that when we fired it up. Got a little box right here acting as it's rudder so let's see this right here that's the green setting low rate so there's low there's high high rates don't don't change anything in the ailerons and there's the uh, blue setting setting right there that's the red so there's red low and red high okay it's working then there's medium blue setting and high and low rates don't have much effect right there in, in this in that one so here we are and this is the green so for the most part it's off trim a little bit this sailor runs down quite a bit this one's up quite a bit. Try to center up here. See if it uh, the manual clicks on the DXE. There it is. So there's there's center. So I need to adjust them a little bit. Yeah, they're they're definitely off. I'm gonna fix it up for them. Let me show you guys this repair real quick here, and then we'll call it call it done. It came out okay. 
it's going to do the job for him. But I'm going to straighten up the ailerons and, and give it back to him. I'll try to catch it on camera when he's flying it. Okay, the next video will be uh, us putting the wing on this thing and uh, making sure all the control surfaces are are level and straight and and the uh, safe is, is working like it's supposed to. And we'll run through all that together. Hey, I just can't say thank you guys enough for the subscriber count. The, when it goes up, it just makes me want to do more and more and more videos. So I just can't say thank you guys enough. Every time I check it, it's up three or four. And, and that just... Uh, it just gives me a feeling man I just it's good so I just can't say thank you enough if you guys are new to this channel my uh, my whole idea behind this new adventure is to give back to YouTube one way or another I used YouTube to learn everything I know about radio controlled airplanes I may have watched 300 videos just to find out what color wire was in that area you know so I used YouTube one way or another to figure everything out and I just want to give it back and I want to give it back I guess teach it in the way I would want to learn it that's you know obviously I'm not the only one that that uh, wants to learn something you know this way you know it's just you, you guys are you, you guys are know what I'm talking about you know but it drives people crazy sometimes when, when I say something about 15 times over in the same uh, conversation but that's just how now I know that 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 word we we're talking about you know we're on the same page and so I just uh, that's just how I learn that's how I want to teach it so I just can't say thank you guys enough and I'm doing requests or, or video ideas and please keep them coming in and I don't care what it is don't be embarrassed don't be nothing what way does the propeller go on I mean anything and what I'm doing is just making a list and then if I see you know a few things that I might be able to go together in one video I'll do that and uh, real quick I bought an IX-12 uh, transmitter because I could put the screen of the transmitter on the camera well I can't do that yet because the transmitter is registered so I've got to get it unregistered then I've got to learn how to use it so we're just going to keep doing what we have been doing with the spectrum uh, stuff by filming the uh, screen of, of my transmitters and we got lots of that coming right after this cub, which will be uh, one and a half videos from now. So, hey, thank you guys. In the comment section, leave an idea or a question. And, uh, hey, I'm really curious to know about the guy that uh, couldn't get safe to turn off and on if, uh, if we figure that out. All right, guys, hey, thank you again. Until next time, you'll see me here.